Hello. Earlier today I showed you some methods of trying to make it look like tire tracks were cutting into the ground. And this is the vert offset method that I mentioned, which actually takes a vertex uh, system, a plane, a uh, unity plane in this case, and offsets the vertexes, or vertices, so that they rise up out of the ground and create a swelling effect. Now the problem with this is that it can't go into the ground, so you don't get an impression that the car or the treads are pushing down into the soft dirt, which is the whole point of this, right? So what I did is I also added in some parallax, and here you can see what it looks like when I turn on the parallax. And it does look like it's being pushed into the ground. Now if someone takes a real close look at it, they're going to see the distortion that parallax causes. Um, but I don't need nearly as much parallax because I am enhancing it with the actual uh, contours of the mesh. So this is 0.07. I can probably do 0.05 and it'll work and eh. Well anyhow, compare that to, this is the level I was showing you before. That's what I was doing to get that level of depth uh, in the demo and you can see how the distortion is just really very very obvious. So this is a much better solution although I'll have to tweak it to figure out what I want the settings to be. Um, and I may make it so that I do I don't think I can use the built-in terrain tools that Unity has because I'm not aware um, there might be some method of querying a particular point to find out what textures have been applied but I'm not aware of it. I'll look into it a little bit before I give up entirely. Uh, but if I can't use the default uh, Unity terrains I'll probably just start making my own terrain generation system but it won't be voxels and, uh, and that's an important distinction to make. So what I may end up doing is showing you guys how to create terrain uh, using non-voxel methods such as Voronoi Noise um, and so on. We're going to have some fun with that if I have to, but I'd much rather use the built-in Unity terrain if I can. Anyhow, I think this is fairly convincing. It looks like a car drove over this, and uh, that's what I was aiming to get. Uh, and obviously this wouldn't be nearly as deep if it were on rocks, or it wouldn't exist at all if it were on rocks, and if it was snow it would be significantly deeper. Um, so, yeah. That's it.